Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake with Collect Classic Supply Company. And today I'm gonna to be using the Supply SE Single Edge Injector Style Razor. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with it over the last two weeks or so, um, because that's about how long it's been since I've done anything else, as well as my experience with the uh, blades that come with it, which are the Supply. I think they're just rebranded Schick blades. Um, who knows? I used a full one of those before it started dulling on me, and then I switched to putting one of these in, which I believe are Parker's. They're tech, tectonic, tectonic, tectonic. Anyway, on Amazon, it's the Amazon brand, um, which I believe is, you know they have aftershaves and soaps and stuff, and I believe it's the uh, it's just Parker rebranded. So um, Parker blades versus Schick blades basically. Um, and I'm also going to be using a little bit of a Taylor of Old Bond Street because I'm almost out of this. Boom. And I'm trying to get rid of it. So, sorry I haven't been here guys. It's been a little, uh, it's been a little crazy work for the last few weeks. Um, and I finally had to just give up on making videos in the morning. I just needed the extra sleep, you know. Um, but things have stabilized, you know? So, and I haven't talked with you guys in a while. So, I figured now that I've been using this supply for a couple weeks now, not quite, I mean, like a week and a half, I think. Maybe not even, I don't even know how long it's been, but I've been shaving with this daily for a while now. We'll talk about it. Um, funny thing is, I totally got it, expecting just, I wanted to try it, but I wasn't expecting much, you know? And then, ironically, I started to really, really like it. And we'll talk more about it as we go, but I'm gonna take a little, uh, take a wet brush, a damp brush, into tubs, load up, it loads up so quick. And so I've just been spamming it over the last week or so, in a way. This is the almond scent. Oh, marzipan, it's so good. Paint it on. You know, I used to use tubs a lot when I first started. And then I backed off for a while because I was like, I was becoming an elitist with the soap, you know? I was trying Barrister Man and Ariana and Evans and I did, went down a rabbit hole with Razor Rock and coming back to it, you know, it's not, it's not ideal, but it works fine. Beautiful. All right, let me get it nice and wet. I've been getting this sopping wet. Still herbal bone street, absolutely sopping wet. It's been the only way, because if I don't get it sopping, sopping wet, then I find that I get almost no residual slickness. And with this razor, I need residual slickness. Just get it sopping, sopping wet. Keep agitating it. You want it to almost fall off your face. This stuff, if you let it stay thick, one, it's gonna gunk up your razor. Two, you're not gonna, I mean, if you're used to all the artisan soaps like that I make that Ariana Evans, Barrister Bar Man, Sterling, you, if you're used to those tiers of soaps, you know, then um, you're gonna have a really, really, really bad time. No, not a really, really bad time, but it's just, it is a step down in performance. Okay. Beautiful. That's a mess. In fact, I made such a mess. Made such a mess. Okay, beautiful. Yep, look at that counter. Yep. Wife is gonna be happy. Love it. Okay, so supply, SE. Major, major, major downside of this thing. Make sure you have your all in block. I do have the grip sleeve on the way. Um, 
But until that thing comes in, man, this thing is dangerous. All them up the fingers. Then you can grip it. Now, I did struggle at the very beginning with the angle with this thing because you can just put it against your face and pull it. And that does work. Um, but I do find that a slight tip down is best. You know, tipping it down slightly is best. Um, but there's a really small window where it works with the cutting. It's very mild, but it's just so smooth. So smooth, it's so easy going. I had the easiest, easiest, smoothest, most bloodless head shave of my life this past weekend with this thing. It's actually blew my mind. So lather does build up on it quickly. So, good. I've been finding that it does work well. The problem is it's just super, super mild. Right, I mean, the only thing you could say about it is that it's too mild, which, well, for me, I just buff a little bit more. You know, it's not the end of the world, but I could see where you would want one where you don't have to buff so much. But it's part of the reason that we're gonna record it for YouTube is just to see, because Maybe I feel like I'm buffing it more than I actually am. You know, maybe, maybe it isn't actually, I'm not actually buffing it too, too much. Under the nose, um, is okay. It is by no means ideal. It's hard to get up underneath with this angle. Doesn't quite get all the way and this angle doesn't quite get all the way. It's, under the nose is tricky, so. Let's keep going here under the chin. So why would somebody use one of these razors, huh? Well, I think I, like a lot of people, when I was switching over from cartridge razors, saw this in my feed as an, it was advertised. I saw it on Shark Tank, and when you're brand brand new, you don't know the difference. I mean, I remember not knowing the difference between all the blade types and between the different types of razors, and I didn't know if I was going to go mild or I was going to go aggressive when I was ordering my first one, you know. Didn't know anything. I almost pulled the trigger on this as my very first razor. Now, looking back, I remember thinking, no, I can't go with that because... It uses proprietary blades, and it's not adjustable, and um, if, I, if I order that, I'm going to be pigeonholed. It's going to be no better than the cartridge razors. And to a little bit of, to an extent, you're sort of right. You know, I mean, you have to use injector blades, and there's only so many of them out there. I mean, I, I don't know how many, but I mean, there's maybe like four brands that I saw on Amazon. There's the Parker ones. There's the Supply ones. I think you can get Schick ones. Um, I think these are rebranded chicks, but either way, you could get the chick ones. Um, and then I think you might be able to get Persona injector blades, but I can't, I couldn't actually find any in stock anywhere. So, um, not ideal, but I will say this, even though it's mild, which is very, very mild, it's probably the most mild razor I own, even though it's mild, um, I did shave with this with three days of growth, one day, I think last Monday. And I just shaved yesterday my head um, with a week's worth of growth. And it shaves the same way as it just did just now with a day and a half. It just, it doesn't get too close. It doesn't give you the closest shave because it's very mild. Um, but it's designed with those fins It makes it perform, it makes it feel like a mild razor, but it still has all the benefits of an open comb razor, if that makes sense. It's actually a really, really good razor. 
I've been reaching for it every day this week. Not out of a need to use it every day, but I just, it's so quick to use, it's so easy. It's been very shocking for me. And this is, I think, the fifth use of this blade, including one of those uses being a head shave, which I typically count as two. I could easily say six uses. Um, so, but, uh, in fact, you know what? For science, I'm gonna swap a new blade in right now, just to see if I can feel a difference. See if I can feel how much this blade has been, you know, used and abused. I'm gonna pop it in, boom. And then away from the sink, I'm gonna just pop this. Beautiful, perfectly aligned. Put this in the drawer. Brand new blade, second pass. Let's just see. How is that six shave blade doing? Could have shaved with it for a few more uses, but I'm glad I just swapped that because now I know. Um, okay, so for me, six shaves is the replace period because this feels so much better. This feels, yeah, 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 that's. It's like butter. Absolutely like butter. How right, do we just re up the jawline here? Beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, this thing. See, this is the thing. Every time I touch something and I get more water, I get more soap on my fingers, I need all of them again. Poor design with the, all the flush angles and everything. So, anyway, check this out. See, it's not bad. I mean, it is very mild. See? But, um, it just glides through everything, you know? Doesn't take any pressure, you just gotta go back over it. You might have the angle slightly wrong, you know? But it's just, it's just mild, you know? No getting around that. But man, is it one of the most comfortable shaves? Just slices through everything. I'm in zero fear of making myself. And it mows through a week's worth of growth just as easily as a day's worth of growth. So, you know, with, you, might, you might have a full month, a beard from a month, you know? And then this thing, it won't struggle in the slightest to get it off your face. The only thing it'll struggle with is getting you, you know, baby butt smooth, which could be a pro and a con for some people. For some people like myself, you know, with fairly sensitive skin, the fact that this thing shaves fairly close, but not absolutely baby close is actually kind of a good thing. It's been feeling very good to my skin. I mean, not like it makes any major difference, but has been feeling good. Well, you'll see, we'll see, we'll see the results here. Smooth, going against the grain. Once again, you just got a buff. Beautiful. 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 And this is why we overhydrate the Taylor Roll Bond Street. Because it needed it. Okay. All right, we'll call it. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna clean all of this up and then I'll uh, get back to you and do some aftershave stuff and give you some post-shave thoughts. So, see you soon. 
Hey, welcome back. That was fast. All right. I put some uh, tend skin on while I cleaned up, and then I just put some thayers on to cool it down. Now I'm going to toss some Nivea Sensitive on there just to cap it off. So, don't need a ton of this stuff. I know lots of people use all sorts of other stuff, but uh, Nivea Sensitive for me. Comfortable, smells neutral, it's cheap, goes on easy, doesn't clog me up. So I got Works fine. Beautiful. Puts them on the head too. I said a long time ago that I wasn't going to uh, do that anymore, but um, for some reason I still do. But the excess, I got a sunburn on my shoulders. Oof, oof, oof. Back in the back. Yep, okay. We'll let that settle for a little bit. Let the skin calm down. As you can see, we uh, got a little bit of irritation here. Um, but nothing out of the ordinary. If anything, I'd say it's on the better side of ordinary. Um, and this is post the tent skin too, which typically will inflame everything temporarily. So anyway, so supply, SE. What's different about this from other injector razors that I've seen? Well, from what I can tell, it's one of the few razors where the fin, where the comb plane is above the blade, right? Typically with an open comb razor, the it, it has the same geometry typically as a closed comb or a safety bar razor where the comb is on the same plane as the blade, as the blade. Um, but this one doesn't do that. Actually, the bottom of the comb, well, actually, no, I mean, lower than the bottom of the comb. The comb, the deepest, the deepest parts of the grooves go lower than the blade and then the tops of the grooves go slightly above the blade. So in effect, what you have is um, no blade touching skin. I mean, I think you'd have to really push very hard to have blade touch skin, which is why this thing feels so smooth, but um, it does not give you that close of a shave. So you can see here, I still got little bits. I could clean up right here, I could clean up right here. Um, that's what I've been dealing with all week, is just, you know, an all right shave. But the thing is, it shaves so quick, so easy, so painlessly, um, that I've actually been reaching for it. And because the blades last so long, I just leave the blade in, I don't have to change it out. And changing it out is super easy. Um, and I like the design. I don't like the grip on it. I wish they put some knurling on it of some sort, because I have to use this all in block. And if I don't have the alum block, it's slipping out and it's dangerous. So I did order the grip sleeve, it is on the way. Um, so, those are my thoughts. I don't know what they ended up with. You listened to me talk my way through it, so you know what I was talking about and how I feel about it. Um, so as for price, I got this for $20. I don't know how much it's going for normally. I think $40. I think even at $40, I think it's a good deal. So I think there are people that are shop shopping for the Merker 34C or the King C. Gillette, or the uh, Mula R89. Um, I think all of those customers um, could also pull the trigger on this instead if they wanted to. Um, and, well, I'm not certain that this is for the new person. Um, this could be for the new person, but I'm not certain that it's for the new person. I think it's for well, I don't know, actually. I don't know who this is for. It's a good razor. Well designed. Um, a little too mild, I think, for the general public. Um, but then again, I mean, it handled my beard. Not perfectly, but... I'm shaved, you know? Two passes. So... But it's mild. You got a buff. And that's okay. I think um, if you're willing to buff a little bit, you know, and you have aftershave products and you have, you know, 20 to $40, depending on whether you're willing to go new, new or used, um, this is a good razor. I like this razor a lot. I may, I may continue to use this as my just daily reach for it razor, to be honest with you. Um, it's just that good. It's that easy. It works perfect. It works perfect on my head as well. Um, and the shave angle I thought was going to be so complicated to like you put it against your skin and then 
and you put it against your skin and then just move. That's what the create the owner said. And I don't find that to be the case. I find it to be more like on the plane with the safety with the comb, right? So not here, but here. And then here you're just shaving like this, which is a typical DE shaving angle. So it's just, it's felt very natural. So it slices through everything. I highly recommend you check one of these out. So highly recommend it. And so far my experience with the Parker blades versus the supply blades, um, I believe the, mm, can barely tell the difference. So there you go. I was just about to say that I think the supply ones were sharper, but then I just felt a brand new blade of the Parkers again, and now I can't tell. They're both fine. These are significantly cheaper than these. These are, I think, $10 for eight, and this is $11 for 20. So I don't know why you would ever get these, but get these. But regardless, they aren't that expensive because they last a heck of a lot longer than DE blades, for me at least. DE blades, for me, I get two shaves out of, and then I need more, and then I need a, sh a sharper one again. And these, these last. So, hey, um, I recommend you check it out. You know, if you like mild but efficient enough razors, you know, if you're tired of getting too close of a shave and you're getting in-run hairs or you're getting skin irritation, um, this has been leaving my skin feeling pretty darn healthy here. So, um, love the way it feels, love the way it shaves. Love how long the blades last. Um, I recommend it, man. It's a good razor. So, also, we do have some new scents up on the site. We have the lavender, lemon, and linen up on the site on collectclassic.com in the CC2 base, as well as the spiced orange and bay leaf up on the site in the CC2 base. Um, I do have restocked maple, apple, cinnamon on in the CC1 base, and restocked fresh, clean sheets in the CC1 base. Oh, also restocked uh, Citrus Basil Barbershop in the CC2. So, um, and there are some more batches curing of the bar soap if you guys are curious to try some more of that too. I think I have some honey almond curing. I have some, um, some honey almond curing. I have some cedar and leather curing, some clean sheets curing. Um, and I have some aqua de Gio type dupe style soap curing. If you want some, you can reach out with the contact form. Um, so, but I only have like eight bars of that. So, um, anyway, this has been awesome. So it's been a while since I've been on here. Thanks for uh, bearing with me. Sorry for the uh, great dry spell of 2024 as far as my YouTube uploads. So thanks for sticking with me. And I will probably not do another this week, but I will probably do a live stream this weekend again. So I think I'm gonna try and keep doing that. I'll do live streams on Saturdays or Sundays, and then I'll do a video on Mondays or Fridays every week. So. We're not spamming, but we got more coming out. So, hey, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Once again, this has been an awesome shave with the Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor. Uh, and I hope you have a good one. Keep it classic.